Hi, I'm Carl Conrad and welcome to EMI News. Over the years I've had many accounting professionals come to me wishing to claim their accounting work experience for either the points type of visa such as the 189 or employer sponsored visas such as the 186. One of the key issues that always comes up is whether they're actually working as accountants. In Australia we have three distinct segregations of people who work in accounts. Accounting clerks, bookkeepers and accountants. And when it comes to all matters regarding occupations and immigration, the Australian and New Zealand Standard Classification of Occupations, otherwise known as ANSCO, is the only reference guide that matters. In ANSCO, all three of these occupations have their own individual definitions. Go to the search occupation page on the website, type in accountant, and all the information you could ever hope for will pop up. It's a worthwhile exercise for any nominated occupations to research. So I thought today why not have a look at these three occupations and talk about their duties and how they are different. This way you can discover if you are really an accountant and whether you can claim that work experience you had in mind. Let's start with Account Clerks, ANSCO Code 551111. In ANSCO's definition it states monitor creditor and debtor accounts and undertakes related routine documentation. Now this is a very basic level of accounting but many people believe that working at this level still means they are an accountant. Unfortunately the immigration department will not take the same view. This occupation just requires a certificate three level minimum and we won't go into the complete list of duties for most of you will find that unnecessary. Now let's move on to Bookkeeper, ANSCO code 551211. According to them, they maintain and evaluate records of financial transactions in account books and computerized accounting systems. Now this is a certificate for level occupation. So let's have a look at the tasks of a bookkeeper. Keeping financial records and maintaining and balancing accounts. Monitoring cash flow and the lines of credit. Preparing and producing financial statements, budget and expenditure reports. Preparing invoices, purchase orders and bank deposits. Reconciling accounts against monthly bank statements. Verifying recorded transactions and reporting irregularities to management. And may be required to prepare forms, reporting business tax entitlements and obligations. Now the tasks of bookkeepers compared to accountants is really where the lines can often be blurred. My old friend who was a chartered accountant for over 30 years used to tell me quite often that some of his work from time to time will be that of a bookkeeper, especially when he goes out to visit clients and has to spend time fixing up their data. However, the real difference between bookkeepers and accountants is in the advice they give to clients. Accountants give advice at a much higher level. According to ANSCO, there are three types in this unit group 2211. There's Accountant General, Management Accountant, and Taxation Accountant. These three occupations can have some overlapping elements of course, but it's important to know which accounting occupation you are nominating. However, when it comes to work experience being accepted, as an accountant for the points visas, any work experience in these three accounting occupations will be accepted as they are closely related to each other. Now closely related means they have the same first four digits in ANSCO. The most common one of course is that of accountant ANSCO code 221111. That is the general accounting occupation and it is described as providing services relating to compliance-based financial reporting, auditing, insolvency and accounting information systems, and advises on associated record-keeping requirements. This is really not a detailed description, so let's have a look at ANSCO descriptors for the tasks. Now the tasks for accounting unit group include assisting in formulating budgetary and accounting policies, Preparing financial statements. Preparing reports undertaking audits. Advising on the purchase and sale of businesses, mergers, capital financing, suspected fraud, insolvency and taxation. Examining operating costs and income and expenses. 
providing assurance about the accuracy of information contained in financial reports, providing financial and taxation advice on business structures, plans and operations, preparing tax returns for individuals and businesses, maintaining internal control systems, introducing and maintaining accounting systems. Now the minimum educational requirement for any of the accountant occupations is a bachelor degree or higher education. Of course this degree must be highly relevant to the field of accounting. We won't go into the requirements of the skill assessments for accountants because there's a lot of information already out there. You can check out these requirements in the description below. So now you've had a chance to see the difference between accounting, clerks, bookkeepers and accountants, you can see the degree of experience and education required to do their separate tasks. This is what you must keep in mind if you're trying to convince the Immigration Department of your work experience as an accountant. Now using the ANSCO descriptions as your reference points, this exercise can be repeated for many occupations such as IT professionals and engineers. Now we hope you found this video useful. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Facebook and Instagram so you won't miss out on all these fascinating immigration requirements. I'll look forward to seeing you next time. So take care out there and bye for now. Mm-hmm.